Welcome to our room for 10 days. Da -da. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. Now we arrive at the end 
a public visit. A public visit. Antoine and his wa wife Emma have prepared something to drink and to eat. Just to say you welcome. <laughs> You know what you went recording? I was. Mm. Two minutes. One minute. I was thinking that. Fifty seconds. Thank you. That's a blue crab. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yes, we got in this again.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the At the first floor, you will find some electric light. Put it back. You know that? The last floor, you will find some electric light. And you can find some Please come to the end and we'll give you a welcome to the end of the floor. This is the end of the floor. Thank you. Have a good day.
Went for some others. Bienvenue! Hi guys, stand right here between me and my witches here, please. Come on, guys, come on.
Boom.
Pick us up and we come back in the visa. Say yes to me. And then what time? Two hours? Yeah, yeah, this is my visa. Two hours, Matt. You want to be back here in two hours? We want to go shopping, are you shopping here? Yeah. Is he the first person we spoke? Um. Um. 
uh, welcome to Ekasu Cultural Village. Okay, before we have a look around the village itself, I would like to tell you about this project itself and the people who are living here. Okay, uh, from this area, I'll be living with uh, this shelter man. He knows more about uh, how we travel while I'm in the village. His name is Sivo. Sivo. Sivo, let us see a number four. So he will. Sivo. Sivo. In Dex's name. So thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, I'll call you to I'd like to explain some of the wildlife, so many ways, uh, so many fun, but not time you hear for some of you from the ship, maybe some of you around the island, so you have very little, limited time before you go back. We'd like to explain some of our trap, first as well, I would catch wildlife, there's a term wildlife, this bill especially for big animals, wild pigs, wild chicken. Now tell you friends, we're very lucky out in Vanuatu, the only way we describe Vanuatu, we believe we're also one of the happiest kids in the passing. Mm -hmm. Kids here, you go everywhere you like, there's nothing to worry beside. Every spider, snakes, harmless. No poisonous spiders, no poisonous snakes. Mm -hmm. This is for pigs, okay, you want to catch wild pigs, wild pigs, we'll build something like this, before a tree, bring it down. Tie a little piece of stick there, piece of rope, make sure make a little bit, cut a stick, some length from there to there. Look it up, food, food, white stuff, that's coconut. Favorite food for most animals. What happened? I don't want a picture. Right here. There's a coconut there. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. Give me one for Australia's funniest home videos. Yeah, I know.
Dobra. Hang on, hang on. Oh, too, too much to take. <laughs> oh no, this is really good. I can't move. What else is going on? Of course, we've already got to move. Okay. and also to get rid, uh, get rid of insects and also to solidify the union between family who has been represented here by the lioness attached. Behind me there are two entrances why we came from here because this entrance is only reserved to the high chief and his family and also <laughs> Yeah, coconut. Water. Uh. 
To do the bunya, we need a local product like a yam with potential tap water, sweet corn, popo, pins, uh, taro. You have to peel them and, and put inside the banana leaves. But uh, before using the banana leaves, after cutting it from the tree, we have to smoke on the fire the two, le the two sides of the leaves. Why are we doing this? Because in each leaf, there is a stem behind and we have to take off it and that will be easy and smooth as well. You can do a bunya of a chicken with a meat, with a fish or any meat. Just in front of me, this uh, lady is uh, grating the dry coconut. They will mix with the water and that will be the juice of our food. Is, is there any question somewhere? I'm very happy. <laughs> this uh, this uh, duty is uh, is a part of uh, women's duty. The second one will be a part of uh, men's duty. And you have uh, to know we have uh, several kinds of yam and also several kinds of uh, sweet potato. in Australia, a few minutes later there is another one waiting for you to be tested. Yeah, <laughs>
pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, yam, yam. banana, uh, sweet potato, chicken. Would you mind to line up and help, your, help yourself? You have a stick in each plate. Would you mind to line up? Now I stand on the shores wondering all Its vastness and splendor which they explored Over this ocean they set up in search of a new home Under the Pacific sky Nice. Nice, yes. Can you open it please? I'll just take a photo. Take a photo? You don't even need spices, no? Yes, yeah. You put pepper. Uh, and
Steps going up like you know, they only can go, I suppose. Okay, I'll just give you a, a quick explanation of where you're going. You're gonna go to Vile Village first. Hey, Jimmy, to pass by the we're going to go past the old church, which was built in 1860, uh, partly by the French convicts. And we're going to go up to the caves, and uh, it's named after the Queen of Isle of Pines, Queen Orthanx. And uh, she was the first uh, Melanesian lady to uh, learn how to read and write in French. And uh, she also was a lady who negotiated with France during uh, the period where they set up the penal colony here. And so half of the island, the locals, moved to the other side, and the convict area was here. During that time there was uh, yeah. tribal tension uh, and so she hid in the cave for one year during 1855 and 1856. So that's where we're going. Yes. Yep. And our driver's name is JP. Suppose he's gonna let you play. Huh? Let you play. Oui, let's play. He's gonna he's gonna take you. I 
Ich versuche es nicht, was mich noch fest. Thank you. 